right there. It says lambs, wool, sheepskin, and candles. Yay! And eggs. See the little signs? That's what you follow, those little black sheep. Studio 14. Now this is like getting the wool right from the lamb. Hey, sheeps. Look at them. Oh my God, Ozzy would love these. He calls them mountain lambs. <laughs> so we're going in the studio. I love this stuff. Oh. I, I want your buddies. I want your buddies. So we're at this farm and we're actually feeding the sheep. Come on, come and get some food. Uh, uh, come on. Come oh, on. here they come. Uh, they're almost uh, they're not hungry. Uh, He's like, what are you doing? Here, let me try feeding. Here. He won't. He won't hurt you. Wow. Give me another one. <laughs> Feels so funny. Okay, wait. Oh, there whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> So we're just about half lunch. We're just sitting at the side of the road, and I made this beautiful artisan bread, and we're gonna have some meat and cheeses and some really, really good, where's that smoothie stuff? It's a pineapple coconut smoothie drink. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to spend money. No, we sure don't. Look at, we are at, look at the orchards. Look at the apples, Richard. Oh my. Look at the blackberries. Here's the winery. Hi there, boy. Look at this place. Oh my, this is so cool. Oh, we're at the Salt Spring Vineyards. Oh, look at this. They're beautiful. We're at this gallery called the Dulcie Gallery. And look at the tree and necklace. With the gra are those granite? Richard? Well, it says granite. Granite stones. It's um, only two thousand dollars. Do you like a necklace for your tree? Oh, there's lights. And then this one. These are my favorite. Absolutely love these trees. Oh my goodness. Look at these. They're crocheted scarves around the pine trees. I think they look fabulous. I absolutely love them and I'm doing this to our trees at home Richard I love them I really do the tree scarves how cool this is a zany art gallery look at this wood look at these sculptures they're magnificent they're huge look how big this one is and when you drive by on the road, we that's why we came. We keep driving by and seeing this and we're like, who are those people? And they're not really anyone. Like, look at this one. Look at this nymph here. This one's called Nymphs. She's posing. See, look at that man's face. So it's kind of creepy from the road, these ones. But they're very cool. So we're in a sculpture park of this Duluth Gallery, and apparently this is also a bed and breakfast. Oh, look at the oh wow! Look at this one. Look at this. This is incredible. Somebody made this out of like pipes and. Yeah. Wow. This is cool. It's a steel, aluminum, and copper. Six thousand dollars. But you know what? This That's is, worth six thousand dollars. This here is the carburetor you caught. Carburetor, all kinds of parts from. And the then dish. that's a bandsaw. Yeah. Which is the waves, the of, the waves water. of the water. Yeah. Really cool. And what's so neat is you can be outside. It can be outside. Look at the grapes. Where? Oh, youth. Youth. Oh, hang on. Oh, because they're short. <laughs> no, no, because youth. Hang on. Together. I know, but they're short. Yeah. But they hang out together in groups. My favorite are these mammoth, ginormous. This one's called Guardian and it has a light in it. Like it's a piece of marble. This is so cool. Look at these. Wow. 
Oh, I just want to see it from the front. These are absolutely breathtakingly. Those are trunks of trees. Oh my God. 70000 dollars But imagine, Richard, the tree. $70,000. I guess. Why would you think that? Well, it must have been a redwood tree or something. We just left our bed and breakfast and we're heading home, but I had to come to Fulford Harbor here to this shop because last time I was here we were getting on the ferry and we had to leave. It is magnificent. It has, look at, look. Richard and I just got off the ferry a little while ago and we found, look at these blackberries, all the way down the road. So we were like, these are coming home. Sorry. So we, he has a container and I have a container. We've got, we've picked probably eight of these already and dumped them in a bigger container. So we're going to have blackberries coming out of the yin yang. <laughs> look how many we ended up getting. Awesome.
were just getting ready stay on this highway to hit cam loops british columbia and we were on the highway literally not moving for a good hour and a half like the road was not moving and we're in the middle of the mountains on the coquicla i call it the coca-cola Coco Quickla, <laughs> Coco Quickla, pass through the mountains, but there was a horrible car accident. So the cars going west, where we're traveling, or east traveling, um, they it was like a snail's pace. It took an hour and a half, and uh, even people were like stopping and letting their dogs out to pee because it was crazy. It took so long, and then the cars traveling west, there was like. Um, there was nothing and we're wondering why is there any traffic coming the other way because there's nowhere else to detour people to go so it's like where are they so when we got up to where everything was there was a really terrible uh accident with a semi trailer truck and it was all smashed in and then there was a car there so we're not sure what happened but then there was yellow um police tape across the highway so nobody on that side could even move people were out of their cars it looked like they were at a, a festival or something just sitting on the sides of the road because obviously they had been waiting much longer than we had because we weren't weren't on the accident side so god bless the people that were in that accident i hope nobody was hurt but from the looks of that truck, I don't know, because it was a big, huge semi truck and it was smashed in on the driver's side, like all squished in. So yeah, so it, so what happened when that happens and you're in the mountains, there's nowhere else to go. So the next big city is Kamloops. So I said to Richard, I'm gonna do a hotel, you know, booking.com on my phone to get a room. And I think I got the very last room in Kamloops because everybody, there's nowhere else to stay. It's already nine, almost 10 o'clock at night. And then after Kamloops, there's no other big city really close. So that would be where you would be stopping. And as I'm booking, I was booking one place. By the time I pressed book the room, it was too late. I'd lost it. So it was like this, I got to get this last room. So yeah, we have the last room in Kamloops. So yay for us. Hey Richard. So we are on our final leg home. We're just about a hundred miles or kilometers outside of Jasper on the west side of Jasper. And this mountain here, this rest spot is called Terry Fox. Um, the young man who traveled across or tra attempted travel across Canada for cancer awareness. He only had one leg and they named this mountain after him. So that's Mount Terry Fox. So off we go. So we were just reflecting on our cooler foods because we just had a sandwich at this spot. And uh, Richard made a really good point. Not only is it less expensive, but it also allows you time, instead of sitting in a you know, diner or McDonald's or a and you sit on the side of the road and these mountain views are spectacular. Don't you think? It's just so much nicer and so much a nicer way to have a little lunch, I think. And we saved a ton of money. Our breakfast this morning was so funny because I was taking Instagram pictures of our breakfasts at the bed and breakfast. And, you know, they're always really pretty. So I said to Richard this morning, I'm going to take a picture of our breakfast. And it was, but it was fruit buns we bought in Salt Spring Island, which were quite tasty. We toasted them with butter, put some of our pepperback jack cheese on them, and we had some apple slices, banana, and some, what else did we have? Blackberries, a few blackberries. Oh, boxed orange juice. No name. And coffee. But it was good, wasn't it? All right. It was great. We haven't bought a meal today. But we bought one coffee. Yeah. That was it. That's all we bought. It's already four quarter to five p.m. So yeah, and our cooler's almost empty. We didn't waste anything. Everything was like just perfect amount. Don't you think? It was really good and enjoyable. So there you go. There you have it. Pack a cooler.
cooler people save some money and enjoy the outdoors. It's really, really, really hot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my body last night, blisters everywhere. My arms, my shoulders, my elbows, my ankles, and I put tons of sunscreen on. So this morning, I was literally coating my body with cortisone cream. The cream, and it's a high level of cortisone, so it settles them all down, so they don't, you know, get all swelly. It's so, but they're all still there. You just, they're just not like they were last night. So yeah, that was crazy, and I don't even know why. Cause what were we doing? Oh, berry picking outside. You think that was it? Cause it was hot when we were in Tawasin. It's been really, really hot, but it looks like it's going to rain here. Probably yeah, I think so, because it's uh, the clouds look, look, it looks very rainy looking, so, yeah, we're heading home now. I had to videotape this, because literally, not even two minutes after I turned the phone off, big old jumbo lightning. It's just pouring in the raindrops. Oh, it looks like the sun's getting up. Oh, yeah, it looks so clean. It's like a crystal. Just like that. Boom. Welcome to Alberta. We must be getting close to Alberta. <laughs> when you go through the mountains, the weather changes. In five more minutes, it will be all sunny again. Or, it will be... Damn! Who knows? So weird. So we got home last night. It's about 10 p.m. I think by the time we got all settled in. And so I'm busy doing the laundry and watching the Olympics. Love the Olympics. The cycling race, the women's cycling race was so good. I was literally standing up on my feet screaming for the girl from the U.S. But then, well, I won't tell you in case you haven't seen it, but ugh. Ugh. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we had a fun time doing laundry because we're leaving on Tuesday and it's Sunday. So got one day, two days to rest. We are both so tired. I don't know why you get so tired in being in the car, but I guess that's exactly why. My dye didn't last very long, did it now? But oh well, we had such a nice time, so relaxing. Richard and I both slept in, excuse me, oh, till 11 o'clock this morning. I looked at the clock, I'm like, that does not say 11. Yep, 11. Both of us. And the dogs, too. So funny. He said he had gotten up earlier and let them out. And then I didn't hear him. And then they were outside playing out cold. Gonzo snoring till 11 a.m. So, yeah. So today's just kind of a chill day. We froze our blackberries, got them all. I was so glad that we got all that done. And yeah, just doing laundry and chilling and watching Olympics. But I want to thank you so much for coming along with us to our Salt Spring Island vacation. It was really nice, very relaxing. We had a wonderful time. So we'll see you from Drumheller next week.